Hi, my name is Tim Brown and this is the second video in creating your first web page from HTML, this series. And honestly, this could be some of the most fun stuff in web design because you create your first couple elements, you color something in, in code, and you start to see, whoa, this is sweet. I can create the internet. And when you, I mean, it, it takes a second. It's not always easy. But once you get over some of these speed bumps, you start to realize, whoa, this is kind of fun. And uh, I just want to give you that as kind of encouragement to keep with it. And let's start our first little bit of styling the web page. All right, so we have the, these pieces in HTML that you can see here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is open this up to review. So we've got this index page, I'll open it up. Um, open it up to see what's up here. We've got my amazing web page. Remember this, we created this. If you added other content, your other content would be here. But uh, we have these first couple pieces. But CSS is really added to a web page in the head. And the real way to add it is actually by linking to a different file. And it looks like this. I'm just gonna show you that real quick. Link rel equals style sheet, href equals styles.css. And we're not gonna link about, we're not gonna do it the correct way for this first time because I want I want to do it in a really obvious, easy way. And um, so let's do it in a little bit more of a, let's say hacky way just to start so that you can see how it's <clears throat> quickly applied. So really CSS is the styles, right? So we actually create the style tag. It's less than sign style and then greater than sign and then less than sign slash style greater than sign. And this all goes in the head, right? And this is, this is kind of a really basic way to add styles. This is not the correct way, but it's very useful to kind of start this way so that you can see how these things work. One of the first things that I would normally do if I was creating a web page from scratch would be to add some kind of container or a wrapper around your content so that the content is centered within the browser. So and it doesn't go outside of a certain width. So let's say the browser is most commonly 1200 pixels or something. Maybe we want the wrapper, well, let's say the, the browser is 1300 pixels. We want the wrapper to be 1200 pixels. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna create a, it's, it's a divider or a div section. So less than sign div. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say class equals quote container. And then I'm gonna do greater than sign. And I need to close this and I'm gonna close it after all of our content. I'm gonna tab out our content because it's gonna be contained within this div. And then I'm gonna go down one after the content's done, before the end of the body tag. And I'm gonna go less than sign slash div greater than sign. So this is the start of the div and this is the end of the div right here. And this is really a basic building block of HTML. So now that we have a div with the class equaling container, we can actually apply styles to just this div because this has its own class. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna tab out and make sure that I visually understand that I'm within this style. And I'm gonna, if I wanna style that div, I just press uh, period and then container. Tab that out and it's curly bracket and then a, um, facing to the right and then a curly bracket facing to the left. And then whatever I put inside of this, you can see this, we've got this thing 
is applying to this thing. So if I put anything inside of this, like let's say background color, and then I can put gray or a gray hex color, which is uh, hashtag or the pound sign EF, 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 right? So you can put the color or you can put a, a color hex right there. And now that container is now going to be that color. But what I wanna do, let's, let's go ahead and look at that just so that we can see what that looks like here. I'm gonna go ahead and command S, command save, um, and then pull up that. I'm gonna refresh the page. And as you can see that divider or that div section around this area is that gray now. That background color is gray. So that's our first styled element. That's kind of nice, huh? And make sure that you have background dash color. And then this is a, um, what is this? What is this thing? Colon, <laughs> excuse me. And then uh, your color and then after it, it's a semicolon. The semicolon is to divide styles. So if you have more than one style, then I press space and I can add a new style here. And because this is a container, what I want to do is make the max width of the container um, 1200 pixels. So max width 1200 pixels. And to center it in the browser, what you do is you go margin, zero, space, auto. So that is actually going to center it within the browser. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And go to the browser. And you can see now that it's centered within the browser. So how, how is that? How is that the case? Um, well, it's saying that you want zero margin above the div, but you want auto margin on the sides. And because it's a, math, uh, a max width of 1100 pixels, that, uh, that auto on the sides is just doing the same amount from each side. So that's kind of uh, a way to center a div that you might want to remember. Let's do, just for the sake of how good it feels, let's do another div in the middle of this. Here you can nest divs inside of one, each other, uh, one another. And I'm going to say class equals red dash div. And I'm gonna close it with the greater than sign and then add the end of the div right here. Less than sign slash div greater than sign. And then I'm gonna go out one because it's nested within this div because this is a, uh, another div here. And then I'm, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna put a paragraph tag and say, this is a red div for our, uh, viewing pleasure all right red and then one, once again sorry we go up to the style section here and we add this style here period red dash div so you have to have a period there if it's a class you have to have a period there so that it knows what it's talking about and then we do a curly bracket open curly bracket bracket closed and then we say, we have to make it red, right? So background color, red. And once again, we got colon, space, the color, name or hex. Um, and if you do a hex, obviously you need to use that pound sign. And then semicolon to end that. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna say, I want the color to be white and so what's the difference in this case between background color and color? Color, the term color always refers to the text. So the text within this will be white. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. 
That seems a little counterintuitive sometimes, I think, that color refers to the text, but it's, it's uh, the way HTML is set up. So we've got a red div, we've got this container. We're starting to get the feel of it, I think. So you, you see now, all you're doing is essentially adding these, what are called attributes to that class. So a class is to call out the particular element and you could actually do it on other things too. Like you can have an H1 and you can have a class equals. So now that will, anytime I, if I create a, let's say main header. So we have class equals main header that anything that has main header on it will apply to just that heading. So let's say we have, see, so we have an H1 down here, another H1. And that H1 says, this is a, a second section, right? And we close it. And then if we take main header and we style it, it's not gonna apply to this H1. It's only gonna apply to that main header h1 that we wanted to style so i could say font size 55 px so font size is another one that you'll probably use starting out you can you can essentially use font size to make text bigger or smaller you can use 55 pixels you can use all kinds of different sizes 15 pixels um, and you can also use M's. So one M, this is probably more complicated than we need to go at the moment, but one M is the baseline. And if you did 1.2 M, that's essentially 20% bigger than the normal headline, the normal H1. And let's say then we do H1. So if it's a style like H1, H2, P or image, and you want it to apply to all of those elements, you don't have to say, put a period before it. So let's say H1, the normal H1, let's say the font size, we want it to be, let's say 40 pixels. And then this one, we want it to be 70 pixels because it's the main one. So it's 40 PX. And then this one has font size 70 PX. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And let's take a look. So now you can see I made this this heading gigantic, but most H1s are going to be this size because we styled most H1s at this size. No period necessary for these kind of baseline styles. And then main header has its own font size colon 70px semicolon. So there's a couple attributes to start with, font size, background color, and then you got the max width and margin zero auto for centering. But what about if we want columns? This will be the last thing we tackle in this video, so don't get too exhausted here. We've got, let's say three columns. So you can write your, you can write your uh, class styles before you even make one. Let's try it. Period. T-H-R-E-E, -E, three columns. You can call it whatever you want. We could call it Zaboomafu. We could call it, you know, crazy columns. I don't really care. You can call it whatever you want. But in this case, let's say three columns and we want them to be width of, let's say 33%. And let's say, just to give us a, you know, a solid understanding of where they are, let's say a background color green. So width colon 33% semicolon background dash color colon green semicolon and then we have to make them down here, right? They don't exist yet. So underneath the red div, let's create 
another div. Less than sign div class equals three, oh, excuse me, quotes, three columns. You can tab out if you're in Sublime Text because it will already recognize this from up there. I'm gonna do greater than sign. All right, so we've got this equals three columns. And for the time being, let's put a paragraph in there that says one of three and then close it. Less than slash P greater than sign. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this so we can see what this looks like with three columns. All right, I'm gonna do command save. You can do file save. And let's open the browser. What do we got? Oh, well, they're not lined up yet. So what do we need to do to get them lined up? Let's do on the three columns, we have to do a display inline block. Saving, refresh. All right, so display inline block just means the natural thing for divs to do is to clear. So to actually move, to actually clear the, the vertical elements. So it would just be down here, but display inline block means, no, put those all next to each other. So now you see the three columns. If you want to do columns, use display inline block. And so now, as you can see, we've got a couple different things covered. We've got how to add style tags to the header, how to create your first container so that things are centered within the browser and how to color divs like this, this red div that we did and how to color text within those. Remember background dash color red and color is the color of the text. So that's something to remember, color white. And then the three columns we need to do 33% or if you want two columns, you could say 50% or what have you. And then I'm using this background color just to show where they are and then display inline block to get them to show up next to each other. So covered a lot in this one. Next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you're actually supposed to add styles. It's really the same thing in that you write the styles this way, but you actually write them in a different file that you link here in the header. So you actually have the index, .html and then the next page or the next file will be like a style.css and you'll link it in the header. So you have them in separate ones. Um, and I am going to show you that, how to do that next video. I'm excited. And I hope that you wrote a couple of these styles and had fun with it because it is kind of fun to, to essentially be able to create the internet. See you next time.